Lisa from Anaya's Toy Box Crochet, and I'm here to show you what I've been up to. So, thank you everybody who's joining me. I really, really appreciate you coming and uh, <coughs> coming to see what I'm doing and joining me. And I have to apologize, it has been a while since I filmed. I was planning to film on December 3rd, the last time, and it is now December 13th. So it's been a while. <laughs> The reason I didn't film is because I had COVID and so I was recovering from COVID and I am still coughing a lot but I'll try to cut that out and uh, yeah I couldn't film. If you hear any background noises I am not in my usual filming place. I'm actually in the living room uh, just because that's what's working for me today <laughs> and excuse me. Anyways um I mean, yeah, I, this was just working for me today. So this is where I decided to film. So, um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to start off with FOs and this <sighs> ambitious project, which was way too ambitious for a beginner is not an FO. I am still working on it. I am on my second and last skein of yarn or cake of yarn and hopefully one day I'll just show it to you finished and I'll be like, I finished it. Today's not that day. Today is not that day. But I did work on it a lot uh, up to December 3rd. If you see, my stitch marker is right there. Excuse me. So I worked on it from all the way till here where I'm in the dark gray section, which in my other cake, the first cake I used, which you could see just a little bit of at the top, was light gray. Let me show you. Is on camera. Ah, I'm locking it instead of unlocking it. See that little sliver of dark gray? It was that color in the other ball, but in this one, it's kind of a bluey, steely type of gray. <coughs> well, whatever, you have to deal with what you have. I apologize for the coughing again. I will try to cut most of it out, but there are some that I probably won't be able to cut. Anyways, I was knitting a lot prior to December 3rd. I also started purling. I did. I started making this scarf, scarf, which is totally twisting on me, but whatever, I'm learning. I started purling. Take a look at that. I had some problems. I know that sounded strange. It's just because I was mid cough. But anyways, um, my stitches twisted. And uh, I couldn't for the life of me figure out how. I watched purling video after purling video and everything, sorry. And everything I saw showed that I was doing it right. And yet my stitches were still twisting. And then, just for kicks, I looked at a knit video and found out I was knitting wrong. So all of this that I have been working on for almost a year, I've been doing wrong. But anyways, I fixed it. I am now knitting properly, so it's not uh, twisting my stitches. My stitches look nice now. I don't know when I'm going to finish that because really uh, knitting is taking too much of my brain at the moment, so I'm not knitting too much. <coughs> but those are the stuff that I was working on on December 3rd. The only FO I had, if I had come on December 3rd, was this little glass of juice, which I think is incredibly cute. And it's from uh, the book... Um, what was it? Kawaii crochet. Sorry, I got a text and I got distracted by it, but whatever. <laughs> it's on my phone. Uh, so I might got this with the thing, uh, from the Kawaii crochet book. I really, really love it. I used fingering weight yarn for this and, uh, it's going to hang on my purse. That's why I put a little hook there. And I've just been waiting to show it to you. Not that I was going out or anything for the past year you know, while. Uh, my husband got it first when he went on uh, the trip to Connecticut to visit his parents. He got it and it soon passed to me. Luckily, so far my kids are not sick and hopefully they won't get sick. My daughter's going back to school tomorrow, which is so incredibly amazing. Now, among stuff that didn't get done was my pattern. I never wrote out my pattern um, for the kitty. 
um, to publish on the 10th and I will do it as soon as I can. But one thing I realized was I forgot to take progress pictures. Um, I made, I designed the kitty, which I was able to design that. I can't right now. But uh, I designed it while I had that headache from my glasses and I didn't stop to take pictures. So I had to make another one. And so this is my other kitty. I'm using, uh, this is all in DK. So this is paint box, uh, simply DK. And at the bottom I used scraps, uh, I think it was mandala uh, sparkle. Yeah, mandala sparkle in the colorway serpent uh, that I used for the dragon. So I made this kitty while I was sick. Okay, I am having a little bit of a hard time navigating in this new situation. Sorry, I'm going to block the light a little bit to stay there. All right, perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try not to cough in front of you, but I can't promise anything. Uh, so after I finished Kitty, by then I was sick. Like, seriously, with, uh, when I was still making Kitty, it was my husband who was sick, but I didn't get it yet. Uh, but by the time I finished Kitty, I was the one who was sick. So I had this idea in my head because uh, what's happening with my working yarn, again, what's working yarn? Working yarn is yarn that I've used, but I can still start a project with it. Excuse me. With my working yarn, um, it's piled up so much that I have it on a shelf. And anytime I take out the bin with my working yarn on it, yarn falls everywhere. Uh, and then I have to do this whole cleanup every time I take any yarn out. So I was thinking maybe I should make a blanket for my son. He's been asking me to make stuff with for him that is not amigurumi. But the kid, he doesn't wear sweaters. Um, I am planning to make a hat for him. And I am planning to make a new scarf for him. But he doesn't especially want them. He likes the ones he has right now. Uh, the hat is a little small on him. So I want to make a bigger one. And, uh, you know... I don't know what to make him that is not amigurumi that he'll wear. So I was thinking maybe I'll take out all my greens and blues and neutrals and make a blanket for him. And that's what I started doing when I had COVID. Now this, you're not going to be able to see it properly, but I did take a picture and it was probably already shown in the credits or in the front of my video. But I started making a C2C lemon stitch blanket with all all the uh, working yarn that I had in these colors. Um, basically what I did was I held random colors next to each other. Um, I picked up a color and then I'd hold some colors next to it and choose one that I thought would look the best. And that's how I did it. Most of these are working yarn. I have two skeins here. No, one skein, which is this skein right here, which is a whole skein and the rest of it is working yarn. There's this one color right here. I love that blue. It's beautiful. But I couldn't find any blues or greens that look nice next to it. So those two are flanked by neutrals. And basically, if I couldn't find anything that I really liked next to it, I would put a neutral next to it. And that's what I did with this blanket. And it's done. I, put, I even put a board around it, which you'll see in the picture. I'll probably put it up somewhere over here so you can see it. And it's also at the beginning. Um... I even put a border around it and everything. It is done and now my daughter wants one. And seriously, um, I found the lemon stitch going over and over and over and making a blanket out of it really soothing because I was sick. And normally blankets kind of bore me, like even baby blankets, they bore me and I don't like making them. And uh, this time it didn't, it, it was good because I was sick and I was working on it. And, it helped. It helped me be productive while I was feeling bad. But uh, now my daughter wants one. She's like, why can't I have a blanket? Now this girl, she's knit worthy. Don't get me wrong or crochet worthy. Uh, she really is. I make her gloves all the time. And I think that's one of the reasons my son wanted something that was not amigurumi for him because I'm always making her gloves and I'm not making him gloves. But anyways, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I have reached my 10 minute mark and I'm about to cough. 
but I'm going to quickly show you my next two FOs, which I worked yesterday and the day before when I was feeling better. And uh, the blanket, I hadn't quite finished it. And I was bored of it. Excuse me. And so um, I took out some blanket yarn I have because I went overboard for the Black Friday shopping, which I will not show it to you. I planned to, but I'm not going to show it to you because I put a lot of it away. Um, because I was sick and I couldn't show you anything. So uh, I went overboard with the Black Friday shopping and I really need space. So I took out this blanket yarn and I also, for Black Friday, I bought this pattern, which is from the Dabbling Hook. It's Rails Octo 2 and I made it with blanket yarn and it is ginormous. Oh my gosh, this is probably row-wise the smallest project amongst these three amigurumis, but it... it it obviously looks the biggest because it is bulky six yarn. Um, <laughs> I have size one right here, one eight yarn, and this one is a six weight yarn. I show you a click of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I made the octo, which is really cute. I like it. I do like the other one better, but this is so this is kind of cute too. And uh, I love, I love this tentacle for the colors changing. I love it. I'm so glad it turned out on the front. Anyway, so I made that and uh, I still wasn't ready to go back to the blanket after that. And plus, um, I did color control with the blanket. So when I reached the end of a row and I felt like I don't have enough yarn to do more on that row, I cut the yarn and so I have a whole bag of uh, scraps. And you guys know what I do with scraps. I make a basket out of it. Uh, but I already had a whole lot of scraps and I just hadn't wanted to make a blanket for a uh, basket for a bit And so I'm like I cannot put all these scraps into the basket that's already overflow into my vase That's already overflowing and so I sat down and I made myself a basket Well, this is actually gonna go in my Etsy store. I made a basket and there is <laughs> my basket It was fun to make I enjoyed it um and I was really, really, really glad to get rid of some of that yarn in the vase. I used um, mustard as my neutral. And so um, Big Twist Mustard is the full skein of yarn I used. As I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Maybe you don't. I don't know if I talk about it. But I have scrap yarns. They're usually about this big. And I put it into these baskets. And it the, the weight of the yarn doesn't matter. I just make it work. And I usually put a neutral uh, yarn that's a full skein and I work up the whole thing with that color so it keeps some sort of, con you know, continuity. Continuity? Is that the right word? But it keeps some sort of like it's the same um, while all the other colors change. And so this one was a mustard one and I really do like the way it turned out. It looked, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's going to go in my Etsy store. But anyways, that is what I've been work up to. Um, I'm sorry it took so long to make a video. Um, I'm healthy now. I am going to be coughing probably forever. Um, even though I am not contagious anymore. Not that it matters to you guys that I'm not contagious anymore. You can't touch me or breathe the air I'm breathing. But uh, I'm not contagious anymore, but I'm going to be coughing because... <sighs> Coughs don't go away with me. They just stay. They linger for months. So um, I will probably be doing a lot of videos where you're going to hear me coughing. And that's just what we have to live with right now. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Even though it was kind of weird, the coughing distracted me. Um, <sighs> excuse me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you... Did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to hear more from me please subscribe bye